Hello, I'm you. Today, I want to convey to everyone the importance of not giving up in life. That being said, I've also experienced numerous setbacks and even had to abandon some of my goals. Everyone, I've had moments in my life where I gave up on dreams and goals. Talking about the goals I've abandoned on video feels incredibly embarrassing to me. However, I've made a decision to share all of my story with you. Opening up about my weakness and past memories I'd rather forget is a challenging endeavor. But I believe that overcoming one's past and moving forward is crucial. By disclosing my past to all of you, I feel like I can move ahead. In this video, although it may not be the main topic, I plan to talk about the goals I once gave up on. Also, this time, I will be sharing my goals with all of you. So, I'd be happy if you watch the video until the end. On my channel, I'll be creating content to boost your motivation and help busy individual like you relax in your daily lives. So I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Are all of you currently working towards some goals? Whether it's learning a language, acquiring job related skills, starting to achieve your dreams, engaging in creative activities, I believe there are various objectives you have in mind. However, there are times when people find it challenging to keep pursuing their goals. This can be due to economic reasons, psychological factors, physical constraints, and various other reasons. In this video, I want to particularly focus on the psychological aspects and hope that I can help boost your motivation to continue chasing your goals. If you are currently working towards a goal, please write it in the comments. I will support your goals, and I truly believe that publicly declaring your goals can increase your motivation. Some people may not have found their goals or dreams yet. However, if you define a goal or dream, you will discover hope in your daily life. You will imagine yourself achieving your goal or dream and feel your heart live with excitement. And the goals or dreams you set should be enjoyable for you, beneficial to others, and something you can take pride in when you achieve them. Now, this is just my opinion. But I think that continuous effort can be incredibly tough. Time is limited, so pursuing one thing often means sacrificing something else. Effort, of course, can be enjoyable at times. But there are also many moments when you have to exercise patience. There are times when you want to watch TV or movies play games, hang out with friends, or even have a drink. Well, I can't have a drink, but you get the idea. I believe that there are plenty of temptation in life. But to achieve your goals, you must resist these enjoyable distractions and focus on tasks you must complete. It's not an easy task. But I am convinced that the view beyond the hardships once you overcome them is truly magnificent. And I'm still on the journey of effort myself. So I hope to move forward alongside all of you and sharing witnessing the wonderful scenery together. By the way, I don't have a television in my home. The advantage of not having to TV is that I avoid unnecessary information and can dedicate more time to skill development and work. While television offers entertaining shows, personally, I value the time spent honing my skills more. 
In that sense, I prefer learning or getting inspiration from YouTube rather than TV. YouTube has personal or motivational videos. Of course, I believe there are a lot to learn from television too, so I'm not completely against it. In fact, I used to enjoy watching TV a lot. However, I made a conscious decision to abstain from watching TV for over two years now, as a means of self-discipline and self-improvement. I have decided to go mountain climbing this time to convey the importance of not giving up to all of you. Mountain climbing is very tough. Especially for someone like me, who is thin, lacks muscles, and has little experience in climbing, it can be quite challenging. I also don't have necessary equipment for mountain climbing. However, I wanted to show all of you my determination not to give up. But let me tell you all this from the outset. Don't underestimate the mountain. Mountain climbing is much harder than you might imagine, and it's not something that can be taken lightly, especially when you have to carry a lot of photography equipment like I do. This is the primary reason why I will be struggling during this mountain climb. Everyone, I'll say it again, don't underestimate the mountain. Furthermore, due to my lack of knowledge, I ended up feeling hopeless during this mountain climb. It was because I mistakenly believed there would be a vending machine at the summit. I didn't have water with me during the climb, and I was expecting to be able to drink water at the top. But there were no vending machines. My throat was as dry as a desert. Everyone, don't underestimate the mountain. Returning to the topic, I believe that in order to achieve your goals, you not only have to go through challenging processes, but also find enjoyment in those processes. Studying and exercising can be tough at times, but there should always be a sense of accomplishment. Whether it's solving a previously unsolvable problem, learning new words and being able to use them in conversation, improving at baseball, or experience small and big achievements. They are all bound to happen. Although there are hardships, it's important to savor such moments of satisfaction and give yourself credit for the effort you are putting in. Recognizing that you are progressing towards your dreams is crucial. I thoroughly enjoyed the journey leading up to the mountain climbing. Unfamiliar trains, unseen landscapes, and unusual foods, all of these were fresh experience for me and served as motivation for embarking on the mountain climb. To stay positive, it's crucial to find joy in experience that deviate from your usual routine. For example, if you start with a negative attitude, saying you don't want to climb a mountain, or don't want to study, you likely only feel discomfort when you actually do those activities. That's why it's essential to approach everything with a positive mindset and find enjoyment in what you do. The mountain I'm climbing this time is called Mount Oyama. Mount Oyama is located approximately 1.5 to 2 hours by car from the center of Tokyo making it easy accessible. With an elevation of 1,252 meters, it is known as a relatively high mountain in the Kanto region, and it's a popular destination for hiking and mountaineering enthusiasts. Surrounded by nature, Mount Oyama affords beautiful landscapes throughout the seasons. Cherry blossom bloom in spring, and rush greeny grace the area in summer. Autumn brings vibrant foliage, 
and the winner transforms the landscape into a snowy wonderland. The mountain surroundings also feature forests and valleys, making it a delightful place for nature enthusiasts. Do you all like nature? I absolutely love it. There are moments when I'm walking, I really want to refresh myself, and the stress tends to accumulate. But when I go to a place with nature, my heart truly becomes selling. That's why I wish for all of you to go to the mountain or rivers. Someday, I'd love to visit the great outdoors abroad. Do any of you have beautiful natural place outside of Japan that you'd like to tell me about? I'd be delighted if you could share it in the comments. Lately, so many of you have been leaving comments. I read all of your comments. Super thanks for truly being supporting my work. Thank you all so much. I'm really sorry that I can't reply to every comment. However, I would be grateful if you continue to support me. The conversation has certainly gone lengthy. Well then, let's talk about the goal I gave up on. I intend to discuss the details in another video, but I once aspired to become an accountant. So I studied accounting in both my undergraduate and graduate years, dedicating over 10 hours a day to study almost every day. During my student days, especially after becoming a university student, I rarely spent time with friends, never went out for drinks, and never even took a domestic trip in Japan. I think that's something that's usually unthinkable for Japanese students. During my journey to become an accountant, I admired the teachers at the school where I pursued my accounting qualifications. I felt this way because it seems like a profession that supported people's lives. In other words, I wanted to be a service to others and be needed by them. This sense of fulfillment might have been achievable as an accountant, but I was drawn to the role of an educator, shaping future accountants. Consequently, I joined a school that specialized in nurturing future accountants and began working on creating study materials for the CPA exam. However, as I gained practical experience in the field, I started to realize a disconnect between my ideas and reality. I began to question whether I could genuinely make a difference, whether people truly needed me, and while I want to go into all the details, I had many doubts. Working essentially means being a part of a company, so it's natural for there to be a gap between one's idea and reality. However, I felt that the gap was just too significant for me. If I were working solely for the sake of money, I think the environment was not bad at all. However, for me, money is not everything in life. It's merely necessary for survival. And so, I gave up on the goal of becoming an educator. Normally, losing goal will come with a sense of disappointment. However, at that time, my heart felt clear and unburdened. Why? Because I believed I could embark on a journey of self-discovery. It was around this time that I started to adapt a more positive outlook on things. In this world, there are many individuals who, on their own, work hard, pursue their passions, and achieve success. What is it that I truly want to do? During contrast moments of introspection of these questions, I came across the existence of a photographer named Peter McKinnon. For me, he was someone who captured unbelievably beautiful photographs, posted videos of unmatched quality on YouTube, and possessed castivating charisma. Inspired by him, I aspire to be like him. 
It was through him that I became deeply immersed in the world of photography and videography. He gave me a goal to become a remarkable creator like him. Therefore, I follow in his footsteps and continue to progress. I believe that my ability to have such a goal stem from the time I spent positively reflecting on what I truly wanted and creating the space to connect with myself. During that period, I had quit my job which will normally lead to feeling of uncertainty about the future. However, I believed in my potential and embarked on a journey to discover what I truly wanted to do. And there is a reason why I came to love photography like Peter McKinnon. At that time, I wasn't particularly fond of Japan, but photography changed that for me. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, when people couldn't come to Japan or had to return home from Japan, I started posting photos on Instagram. During that time, the photos I captured with my camera portrayed Japan, which had seems gray and colorless to me, in vibrant hues. Through the lens of my camera, the world began to take on new colors. That's why I love photography. I use Sony and Insta360 cameras, and they play a significant role in defining my personality. So, I plan to share many videos introducing my cameras in the future. The reason I was able to encounter photography was that I became honest with myself and explored my potential. I believe that in life, it's crucial to be true to yourself and move towards what you want. And no matter how challenging the moments may be, you must never let your spirit break. There are times when one's spirit may feel close to breaking, and there are genuinely disheartening moments. However, giving up is not an option. Many people think I'm a strong individual, but that's not entirely true. I've often faced more trouble than most, and experienced a considerable amount of sadness, I believe. But I had to overcome them to keep living. Therefore, no matter how tough the situation, I think it's essential to keep pushing forward and see the brighter days ahead. You can do it. I believe that only those who continue to make an effort can witness the scenery they've always wanted. As simple as it sounds, just like climbing a mountain. The view from the summit is truly breathtaking. I believe it's a result of the effort I put into it. However, mountain climbing is tough because you have to descend after reaching the summit, and that can be quite challenging. At this point, my legs were already close to breaking, and I was feeling incredibly thirsty. Many people at the summit were drinking water, but I couldn't bring myself to ask for any, so I decided to continue down the mountain without taking a sip. My legs hot, my throat was parched, and although I'm making videos to boost motivation, I was really at my physical limit at that moment. If a bear had appeared along the way, I might have asked it for water before trying to escape. But in the end, it's essential to keep walking without complaining. Complaining only makes you negative and lowers your motivation. This moment climbing experience has been truly enriching for me. I've come to realize that underestimate moment is a mistake that carrying heavy loads should be avoided, that carrying water is a must, and that the sense of achievement after pushing through the climb is genuinely wonderful. I believe such experience can apply to various aspects of life. Everyone, please continue pursuing your dreams and goals. 
Your effort will surely bear fruit. I was really tired this time, so I decided to go to my mother's restaurant on the way back. My mother's Italian restaurant is absolutely delicious. And either for people living in Tokyo or visiting to check it out. The restaurant is called Vino Uno and is located near Komae Station in Tokyo. The dishes made using locally sourced vegetables from Komae City are incredibly popular. My mother's pizza is truly mouth watering, and the dishes prepared by the chef are all outstanding. Plus, my mother's desserts are exceptionally delicious. Having a meal day after a hard day really puts you in a happy mood. If you happen to visit my mother's restaurant, please take a photo with her and send me a message. Both my mother and I would truly appreciate it. What I wanted to convey to all of you in this video is the importance of believing in your goals and dreams and persevering. There may be times when you feel like giving up, but at those moments, I want you to truly think about whether it's something you genuinely wanted to do. If it's something you truly wanted, then you should give it under try. If it's not, then you should embark on a journey to discover what you truly desire. Listen to your inner voice, believe in your heart's desires. You will be with yourself for your entire life. So, please take care of yourself. I will continue moving forward and putting efforts alongside you. You are a partner to me, and I am a partner to you. Let's pursue our goals and dreams together, achieve them, and continue striving to see the wonderful landscape that lie ahead. Thank you for watching this video. I'm always grateful for your viewership, comments, and support. Because of your support, I can keep pushing forward. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share it. If you share my video on your Instagram story, I'll notice and appreciate it. So please consider doing so. Also, subscribing to the channel would make me happy. I plan to post videos twice a week, so please look forward to them every week. Thank you for watching until the end. See you in the next video.